G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's hope let's see type of episode in the career of Ev in Star Citizen. So if you remember from my last video I was mulling over the fact if the other guy with the security guy was actually a baddie. Guess what? He was. <laughs> there you go. So um, yeah game didn't bugger up the player buggered up. It was uh, what we call in the IT industry uh, user to keyboard error. In that case, yeah. What the hell? What didn't that work? Or did it? I don't know. Um, so, yeah. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I am going to kind of go off and hopefully um, do another particular run like that but this time I'm hoping it actually works that's the idea um, so I'm here to actually help people right yeah so without any further ado off we go and boom where is it Where do I have to go? It's nearby, isn't it? Come on. Let's line him up. Aha. There he is. Okay, so it's a restricted area. I'm on cautious approach. As you can see, I've got my um, throttle raised to the top. Um, that white... Was there a white square? Um, next to the red indicator where I throttle. I've got it there just so if I need to get the hell out of here quickly, I can. What's interesting to note at the moment... I don't really see the place I should be going into. I don't know why. <laughs> um, which is probably a good thing because that means the turrets aren't there to shoot me. But apparently I have to go in here. I just don't know where here is. Ah, oh, okay. It spawned. Oh, that thing's a bit bumpy. Oh, jeez. That, that's not me moving the mouse, folks. That's the ship being blown around. Did I leave the engines on? What's the bet I did? Yeah, Evan, you idiot. Turn them off. So we've learned. I know in previous videos I've said, ah, it doesn't make a difference. Keep them on because sometimes it doesn't fly away. It keeps it stable. That may have been true in the past, maybe. Could have been my mistake, possibly. But it seems like in this particular patch, um, if you have the engines off, the ship doesn't go anywhere, which is obviously a good thing. So now after all that, the um, building has spawned. So I was right, it was meant to be here, but it wasn't here yet. And so now I'm gonna go in. So how many hostiles? I've got 10 hostiles that I have to neutralize, okay. This ought to be a bit of fun. Uh, I've got a cartridge here. How the hell does that work? How do I have 30, 43 bullets and then 24? I, yeah, I don't know. Okay, don't ask me. <laughs> I have no idea how that works. Because usually 60 goes into the gun, but yeah. So, where are these buggers now? Well, someone's here. I hear weapons fire. I think I see. What the hell? So, we've got to be careful now. Now I'm in the Hurston area, which means the security forces are dressed in yellow. He doesn't seem like one. Or is he? Oh, I don't know. Well, he's definitely not one. Yeah, you're gone. I... Wait... Fuck, I hate it when the game does this. Are you a security guy? Are you a bad guy? What the hell are you? I can't see. Do I take the shot? You got people running around. Oh, jeez. Bullets coming from the top. Get the hell out of there, Ev. Alright. 
there's a trigger around there so you, you got to be careful because at Hurston there is one guy that's dressed up like this no no not that one there's another one it looks a little bit closer to the other okay no he's fine in there you you hide there mate no problem boxes and crates all over the ground it kind of looks like I was here but no okay a bit of a sinking issue this isn't gonna go well okay that guy's dead that guy's hiding in the elevator anybody over here he's he's just taking a break the trauma of the game got to him <laughs> I better stop talking shit. Okay, that one's dead. So, I don't see anybody on this level. Now, it doesn't mean that no one's going to respawn here, but I don't see them here. So, this guy's the security force, dude. There's no one around the corner. That's good. No one behind me. Even better. Now, is he a bad one or a good one? I think he's a good one. But this one here, see this one here, I gotta watch out for. Oh shit. No, it was a, this is what I mean about Hurston. You have to be very careful, cause now I got myself a crime stat by shooting the wrong bloody person. I thought he was the, oh, now they're gonna shoot at me. You, Butchers. Crap. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought he was the other one. I'm going to get shot for this. Yeah. And guess where I'm going to end up, folks? Death? No. Where do bad people go? They go in jail. That's right. Watch. You don't believe me? Watch. Wait for it. Wait for it. It will load in a second. And shit. But yeah, this is what I'm saying. With Hurston, you gotta watch out. There's always one there that kind of looks like the bad guys, but actually isn't. I think it might be a higher superior. Um, yeah. And I copped it. Like I was telling you all to watch out for, and I even said watch out for this one. I got two finger... Uh, Let's just say trigger happy. I was going to say finger happy for a second, but that sounds wrong. I suppose you could get finger happy, but um, yeah, I was a bit trigger happy. Ah, uh, well. So that means, outside of watching a black screen, it means that Bad Boy Ev has actually now got himself a crime stat. And it looks like it's one hell of a crime stat, too. Huh. Alright. What have I got now? That's... So, if you're wondering why I'm just lying back for a little bit, I'm waiting for this thing to load up. Okay. That's interesting. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. This is why I wait for it to load up. So, I'm interested to see, first of all, how much time I actually have in my sentence. And I'll like, well, yeah, I, again, this is my machine than anything else. It's a bit laggy at times, so I do apologize. But um, yeah, th this is what we're waiting for. So, we're in prison. Now, you would have seen me in prison once or twice before in previous videos um but i usually logged out grabbed myself to a coffee came back and sentence was over and then i kept on playing which is great um, i'm hoping that's the same for this one as well but i'm oh one hour and 20 minutes and 55 seconds shit um no, that, that ain't a coffee break for sure that's um 
that, that's basically all my game time uh, for the next few days gone. Uh, bugger. All right, so just so you're aware, this is real world time. This isn't game time. This is anything like that. That's real world time. So until I can come back into the, um, let's just say, playable universe in the sense of outside of jail, I would actually have to wait for one hour and 20 plus minutes. I am not going to do that. What I am planning to do is to take on the inmate program, which you'll see in a few moments, where I can actually do some stuff here to get, let's just say, good behavior points and to actually reduce my sentence. And um, you, you'll see what I mean in just a second. But I hope that actually makes a bit of sense to you why I'm actually heading down this way. So I'm just going to hit the Moby Glass. That still says it. Crime stat 3. Shit. Okay. Um, no, Ev. I want the missions, not the map. So this is the thing. So 5,000 to 1,500. Well, sorry. 5,000 to 1,500 merits. Here we are. Oh, look. 1,500 to 1,500 merits. Okay. Um, now, what I don't know, and I'm pretty sure others can tell you, um, I haven't been here long enough to know uh, how this works. I don't know how a unit of merit actually works with your sentence time. I don't know if it's a one-to-one -one relationship, like one merit is one minute. I, I don't know. Um, if someone does, let me know. I'd be very interested. So what do I have to do here? Well, I have to go to repair a oxygen station, which is at um, zero 02, oh, Route 2, sorry, and Depth 12. And I have to repair the zero 02, is it zero 02? Yeah, it's the O2 kiosk, which means oxygen. Um, it's not zero 02, it's O2. So that means you have to go find this thing. now. I've done this once before, so I kind of have an idea what I'm doing, but you'll see basically they won't put these repair jobs somewhere where you can actually go there in about 30 seconds. It's actually quite a far distance away. Now, at the moment, if you see up in the top corner where I'm trying to jump over in this thing, you see number two there? That is depth two. So we have another 10 to go until we actually um, get to the place we need to get to and then find the kiosk we need to fix. A uh, hint, a helpful hint is, if you go into these bigger areas, because you'll find little paths like this, big areas, little paths. If you go into these big areas, and you'll see coming up, don't worry, you, you'll, you'll see it. You see here how it shows zero two, so we're still on the right path. But you see around here how it shows green, like a green tinge in the air. That means that's where we need to kind of go to. It's not a green tinge in the air, really. It just means it's a green light. Now, obviously, there is not where we need to go to, and I'll show you why. See here, red X means you know, ain't going to do much here, mate. So keep on going. So it is a little bit daunting at first. Don't worry. You just have to focus on the, the green path. And again, see here, I'm showing you again. Uh, for good measures, but you just got to be mindful. Now, this is the same way that I came, so you just have to be cautious of that. Don't get yourself muddled up, because it's very easy to do so. And we're going, or we need to go to number three, which is this way. Um, so, there we go. We're going down towards number three now. And just keep an eye out for those markers. That actually helps you where you need to go. I think over there is number four. Yeah, so... You get the general idea, right? You have to go through and find the place. Now, also too, it's not just that you have to go find the place and repair something. No, 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 no. Um, you also have a limited amount of oxygen. Because this is a jail. Oh, before I say something, that's the exit. Now, you'll notice that that's very important uh, later on, but not for the moment. Where the hell? Yeah. I'm trying to look for a shortcut. No. Sometimes there are shortcuts through different places, but other times, no. Okay. So, 
and it just means I'm gonna go for a, a long walk okay so there's no shortcut that's gonna take you from one spot to another but there are areas where you kind of just have to follow the path even though it might sound like it, it's not um, but what I was mentioning before you are limited with the amount of oxygen you have so my recommendation to you if you are in prison and you are doing this don't jump around and do anything conserve oxygen just keep the movement straight and steady but this is what I'm talking about so this is an oxygen station why is this important you'll see right now so the white bar at the bottom is what you've consumed red bar is what's in the machine and you gotta be careful because when there's a lot of people here you may not have enough oxygen in the machine for everybody so just be a bit mindful of that when you're here with your friends um, because I'm by myself and no one else seems to be around well more oxygen for me but you also have to keep in mind too that this is not just for the um, the, the consumption to get there you also have to be mindful of getting back so yeah just keep that in mind as well don't think that um, you have an unlimited supply because you don't maybe maybe you can miss one but I would, wouldn't really recommend that. Because you'll see, if you do jumping around and you hear a lot of uh, 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 then you'll know that um, you're just consuming a lot of oxygen for nothing. And I just got myself stuck behind that. All right. So, I see a green light in the distance. What I don't know is if this is gonna take me to number, oh it is, number six. So we just keep going. Now, they do have videos out there where people have escaped from prison, and that is possible. I've never done it before because you need to get to the um, surface of the, I believe it's the moon we're on, um, and then you have to have a ship to pick you up. Now, I, <laughs> how do I say this without sounding sad? I don't actually have any friends in my friends list here, there you go that's how it doesn't sound sad and as such um yeah that would make no sense for me so i'll try to do this mission in order to reduce the sentence time and again it does excuse me sorry about that it does take time but we're up to number eight already so that's good we've got another four more to go until we reach the target area and then we're going to find the thing we're going to fix and that can also be a pain in the ass at times um, mm -hmm -hmm. is it over there I see a green tinge around uh, you gotta watch out for the lighting because sometimes they they do it on purpose to get you muddled up like here I don't know if this is the right way or not no nah. two red crosses means you're out of luck there Ev but ha 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 says the game developers I'm guessing a little bit over there I'm pretty sure someone's mapped this out I, I'm, I'm sure that there is some website somewhere that tells you I'm gonna take a right here second entrance left there right and up down cut through here but yeah usually just try to follow the green lights or the green tinges and you'll be okay here's the next um, oxygen station someone's dead um, and someone looks like they've taken their their stuff but so far from a consumption place we're not too bad but you see the machine it's we're going to consume now it's going to remain 42 percent just above and that's okay because at the moment i don't see anybody else being here or down this far except for that dead body um but yeah if there were more players you might be a bit concerned now where's the green tinge Oh, this one's a pain. Yeah. Sorry, folks. I'm just trying to assert. I think I see it over there. But could that be the entrance that I came in from? Uh, no, but I'm going to try. Uh-uh. No. I saw the two X's in the far distance. I knew that was not going to be the right way. It's obviously somewhere around. Here. Okay, 10. Cool. So we've got two more areas to go. So I'll try to pick up the pace a little bit. Uh. 
Now, I've also heard, I haven't experienced, that you can actually mine and get um, merit credits, well, merit points, like that way too. Um, I haven't done it. I, I don't know if that's actually a viable solution, to be very honest with you. It might be. Also, too, I don't know how far down into the mines you have to go to. But, um, yeah, okay, so 12 is through that way. So it's not too bad. Keep in consideration, it's one hour and 20 minutes of go nowhere, do nothing, if you do not do something like this. So you are in prison. That, that's it. That's the end of it. And I'm just looking for that. Is it down this way? Okay. I'm now in that area where I need to be, kind of, as soon as I turn around this corner. Yeah. Okay. So, here is where I need to be. And now I gotta repair the kiosk, and it's not gonna be in the place where you can just see it in the middle of um, this area. It's obviously gonna be in one of those paths to the side. My guess it would be maybe in the next green path because that's where. You would go to do something for oxygen, but I could be wrong. And I got went down the wrong bloody path anyway. Um, yeah, look, F, 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 F. But now you gotta find it. And that's not an easy ask sometimes. In reality, it's quite a straightforward um, mission once you actually know what you're doing. The first time around, it's bloody painful. So, yeah, you still got your light on with your helmet. You can check around, but it's not here what I need. All right, I see a green tinge in the distance, so I'm going to head down that way. I am going to check here, though. Oh. Yeah. I don't see an, an exit, which means, is this the same way I came in? Doesn't look like it. Aha, here's the kiosk, and there's the red thing. So. Due to your recent actions, we've reduced time on your sentence. Isn't that great? Congratulations. You have completed your required sentence in our facility. We at Cluster Rehabilitation are extremely proud to have played a role in your rehabilitation and hope that you've used this time to better yourself as a human and as a member of civilized society. Okay. Alright, so, two things you could do, but I'm not going to. <laughs> First of all, I could get oxygen from the machine I just fixed, so I just purged the tanks. Second of all, uh, second <laughs> topic is that... Um, it does look like, at least I'm going to make the assumption, that one merit point equals one minute of sentence time. So that 1,000, so that's 15,000 merit points in minutes times. Yeah, you, you get the picture. But the good news is that I can now get out. Even though that thing on the top um, right hand side of the screen still shows crime stat with an orange and all the other stuff. The guy on the um, comms area, or comms link, was saying that I'm good to get the hell out of there. So, I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to now head to, you see the exit signs? Right there. I'm going to hit the exit signs and get out of there. Now, for those of you that have got a really good game gamer's memory and know which way you went, left, right, up, down, whatever, exiting can be quite fast. For me, I would say, yeah, I'm just going to look for the signs and try to get out of there as quick as possible. Um, I also have the opportunity to do another mission as well. I'm going to have a look at it. It still shows crime stat 3. I don't know why. If my sentence has been done, then I should show nothing. But anyway... I'll accept this now. I'm not going to... Where is it? Route 3. Depth 12. Huh. Okay, so I'm in Route 2. I'm not going to go and do it because Route 3 is pretty much where we start anyway. But what I am going to do is um, go in and see uh, how much time I have remaining. I still think it's nothing. I think I can just walk out the doors. But yeah, you just exit it now. Follow the exit signs and get out. Um, one thing I don't really know, and it will be interesting, 
if it's actually possible, if you can actually accumulate um, credit points or merit points in this case. So for the next time you come into prison, you just walk out because you were a good, be good boy before. Um, I don't know if that's even possible. I don't think so. Why would they? But uh, Star Citizen, anything's possible at times. But if you know that, please let me know in the comments. I'm, I again, I, I am really interested because I really haven't played that much in this area of the game. So that's always something that's very interesting to me. Now I'm gonna um, get some air. I think it was at forty-two percent when I was here last time. Doesn't seem like it's. Didn't seem like it changed that much, to be very honest. But as you can see, I'm going to pretty much take quite a hit out of this one. Okay. So, off I go. So this is prison, folks. <laughs> it's the mines. I honestly don't know if they adopted a bit of a Star Trek type of, um, let's just say, idea towards it. I don't want to say theme. Uh, but those of you that are familiar with Star Trek, I would say Star Trek, what was it, Star Trek 5? No, sorry, Star Trek 6. Uh, movies I'm talking about. Um, yeah, ha have a look at it. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to get any um, Paramount licensing issues for just saying something. Um, but yeah. I have a, a feeling that this may be not inspired, but maybe an idea came from there, which is again, now yeah, everybody shares ideas. Let, let, let's be honest. We, we can do a, a lot of individual things, but at some point in time, a lot of people just start rehashing ideas and the same ideas over and over and over again. If you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, just have a look at the TV series or even some of the movies. I mean, how many times have they released Spider-Man? Um, actually, no, I'll take that back. How many times have they released Superman? I, I've lost count how many new Supermans there are. Um, but yeah, y y you see where I'm coming to with it. So again, wherever you can pull inspiration from, go for it. Um, so one thing to note as well, usually, Usually, the machines near the starting area don't usually have that much um, oxygen lost in jail time because usually people are going past them because they actually have oxygen left. Again, good practice, at least I, what I do is I try to get oxygen from each machine. That way, at least I actually have something. Except for the last one, which I fixed. Um, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to say to that? I just fixed it. I don't trust my own handiwork. Who knows? But we're all good there. I got stuck for a second. All right, so terrain is coming a little bit easier. Lights are everywhere. I see exit far more frequently. And I think in the corner over there, I saw a green tinge. Not there. Aha. Well, if I had gone left, it would have been quicker. All right. But not too long now, folks. I think we're just coming into the, the main area, I would say. There we go. I see exits. I think this is one of the first areas. Yeah, it all seems very rocky and carved out. And uh, Ev, no, you fell for it. Green tinge in the distance. Okay, so I am running a um, female character and I apologize for the ooing and eyeing. Um, not done intentionally. You can thank the game designers for that. But that's our. Oh, jeez, smacked in the wall. Okay, so we're doing good. We're, we're pretty much here. So, 
Now we can get out of here. If you wanted to go into path three, you can go to the other side over there. Um, you'll see in a few seconds, there you go, part three to the um, left, but we don't want, we want to get out. Here's a friendly reminder to leave all materials found during mining expeditions outside the living area. Hmm. These might contain contaminants that may be harmful to other inmates. So that's some um, decontamination. I'm just sticking around here. You don't have to stick around, you can just walk through. I think it's just um, quite cool how they've done that. So, this should start looking familiar. Here's the, the main living area. Now, let's have a look at the kiosk and let's have a look. Am I good? Okay, congratulations. You're eligible for release. Fantastic. Now, Getting out of here is very simple. We just simply go to this door. I don't want to cause any trouble. We open it. What I don't know is if you can actually like follow somebody out into the elevator. If you're playing with a friend and they've gone off and done the work and you just sat back and drank a coffee. I don't know if the game will actually let you get out as well. I, I really don't know. Or if the security guard starts shooting at you. I've got no idea. But if you if anybody does, let me know. I'd be very interested. Okay. Alright, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've done the prison sentence. Not a video I was planning on doing, I'll be very honest with you, but I, I well it's another day in Star Citizen, what can I say? When you shoot the wrong person <laughs> you go to jail. Um, so yeah, now one good thing is when you come out of jail, and this is what I like, if you stop and have a look, you've still got, once this crap gets off the screen, come on, you still got the stuff you actually um, came in with, which means you don't have to go um, buying new shit, I like that. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, take care, see you in the next one.